In this video, we'll be describing the procedure for taking a trophoectoderm biopsy for doing PGS or pre-implantation genetic screening. Prior to doing the biopsy, the embryo is hatched approximately 6 hours before the procedure at the site which is opposite to the inner cell mass. You can see that with the help of a special pipette, the cells are first aspirated using adequate pressure followed by the aspiration the laser is applied so that the cells can be broken free from the trophectoderm of the embryo typically anywhere between 3 to 8 cells are collected and are then put in a special buffer wherein approximately 3 to 6 liters of solution is sent for further analysis. PGS or pre-implantation genetic screening is one of the most fantastic techniques in order to assess the chromosomal integrity and status of these embryos. This is typically indicated in women who have multiple IVF failures, who have recurrent abortions, who have history of having prior children with chromosomal or genetic abnormalities is also indicated in women who are on the higher side of age and are opting for their own oocytes. You can see here that the laser is being applied over the hatched cells so that these cells can be separated from the rest of the blastocyst. One must be exceedingly careful while performing this entire procedure because this procedure runs a high risk of causing permanent and severe embryo damage if the procedure is not being performed correctly. As you can see, the laser is now being applied for the final time and the cells are gently being separated away from the rest of the blastocyst. This is a real-time video of the trophectoderm biopsy. You can notice that this needs adequate skills and expertise to perform and if done correctly, it can be done without causing any damage to the embryo within a span of approximately 2 minutes. The cells which have been aspirated are then sent for further examination and analysis.